I was reviewing 2D documents of a parapet wall and I thought I should definitely share this with you. Well, a parapet wall is a low wall that runs along the top of a larger wall or the building, serving as a protective feature, protecting people from falling and protecting building from the weather. If you look at it from a structural perspective, you can see that it consists of multiple layers and materials, including flashing, and covering or water isolation. One of these components is the coping stone, which is slightly different from the capping stone. A coping stone is a bit thicker and it may come with a drip edge to guide rainfall away from the wall. But on the other hand, a capping stone is a more decorative object and we can see them on pillars or balusters. In this video, we are going to learn how we can model a fully parametric coping stone and we are going to start with creating its profile. So let's start. Go to file and create a new family in profile category. As always, we are going to use lots of reference planes, but for here, I'm going to first start with creating approximate placement of the wall and we are going to continue based on that. So for that, I'm going to create some reference planes in here and then in this part so this is going to be the size of our wall i'm going to use this dimension and i'm going to make these two parts equal and another one for its thickness this one is going to be the thickness of the wall so i'm going to give it a parameter wall thickness okay let me make it a little bit smaller maybe 20 25 30 is going to be enough two sides of this family is going to be the same so i'm going to create just one side to show you how we need to do it and then for the other side you can create it yourself now i will continue with creating a reference plane in this part this part is going to be a gap a very small gap between wall and that drip edge so i'm going to create a fixed dimension for that i don't need to change it later you can put it on any number you want five centimeter two centimeter any number you want i am going to put it on three centimeter and then i'm going to lock it next part is for the drip edge itself so i'm going to create one reference plane in this part and another one in here this is going to be the same for both sides so you don't need to create one for the other side too i'm going to set both of them on 15 millimeter and i'm going to make them fixed because i don't want to like change it after this we need another gap between this strip edge and the edge of the stone so i'm going to create a reference plane in here and again we can set it on any number we want you can go with five centimeter four centimeter i think four is good so i'm going to put it on four and another dimension to fix it in here now for the thickness of this stone for the top part i'm going to create a reference plane in here and we're going to turn it into a parameter so from this point to here i'm going to select this dimension and from this part let's just call it thickness okay the overall thickness now we can control and change it later so the next part is going to be a point a reference plane in this part so we can connect this part this point to that so we need another reference plane in here and again i'm going to create a dimension from that part to this center reference plane let's keep it in the center and create a permit for it you can give it any name you want i'm going to just go with top and okay before drawing the lines you need to repeat all of these parts for the other side too except this part and these two reference planes because you can use them in the other side too if you have all of these reference planes set in their place you can go to create and use this line so i'm going to start with this point to here okay so this was the center line to this part and then i'm going to go up to here to this point to here and then in this thickness line in this thickness reference plane i'm going to go up to this part and then i'm going to connect it to this point in here go back the same way to this point on all of these lines i'm going to press escape and 
trim these two lines together just to be sure we don't have extra lines in that part now it's time for aligning these lines in this reference plane i'm going to lock and align this line this part and also this line on the other side and then for all of these reference plane i'm going to align and lock all of these lines this is a very important part because if you want your family to work parametrically to work correctly you need to align and lock all of them for this point i'm going to align and lock this point with these two reference planes just this point also we need to repeat it we need to align and lock this point with these two reference planes okay for both of these parts let's go to family type to see if these parameters are working correctly or not the thickness which is the um, parameter on this part i'm going to put it on five centimeter apply okay it's working correctly but it's too much it's 50 centimeter let's go with five centimeter apply okay it's working correctly the top it is on 24 centimeter i'm going to put it on just let's go with 15 centimeter apply okay and also the thickness of this wall and uh, i created this uh, parameter because these parts should be fixed after you change the thickness of your wall because you don't know the thickness of your wall for all of your walls okay you can't check them but when you apply this profile on any wall depending on its thickness you can change it and you can set it exactly in the center that's why i create these parts these edges fixed dimension okay i'm going to change the thickness of the wall to let's go with 30 centimeter apply and as you can see all of these parts are working correctly and now we can load it into our project to see the profile we need to have a wall first so i'm going to create a basic wall in this part so if i select it you can see that the thickness of this wall is 20 centimeter but if you remember we set the thickness of the wall in this part on 30 centimeter so first we need to match them together for that you need to go to project browser and scroll down to this family section then in this part you need to find the profiles and the profile that we just created if you right click on it you will see this type properties and in this part you can change that number in your project i'm going to put it on 20 centimeter and if you want you can change any other number too let me apply i think the rest of it is good so okay then select the wall go to edit type and to the structure section in here i'm going to click on this preview to see the wall itself and in order to make these options active you need to switch this view to section okay so you have it like this i'm going to change the size of this sample and i'm going to put it on one so we can zoom in and see all of the details better then the option that we are going to use is going to be this sweep so as you know any sweep needs two elements one of them is the path and the other one is the profile we created the profile and for the path this sweep is going to use the length of your wall okay so click on this sweep and in here we need to add a row in this part first of all you need to select the profile and it is this one okay after that you can assign any material that you want to it and then we have this distance distance means the distance from the top or from the base first you need to set that so uh, we need to have this coping stone on top of wall okay so we need to change this from to the top and if we have the coping stone on top we don't need to have any distance right if i apply you can see that it is exactly in here unless uh, you need to like add other profiles and uh, for example a profile for the flashing or a profile for any other layer that you need to have on this part as well okay so we don't need to change the distance then we have this orientation you can set it on perpendicular to face or parallel to the ground and then we have this side you can set it on interior or exterior of course it is going to be on exterior and then we have this offset so as you can see this uh, coping stone is not exactly in the center so we need to use this offset 
the thickness of this ball is on 20 centimeter and if we want to set it exactly in the center we need to move it 10 centimeter to one of the sides right so i'm going to set it on 10 centimeter let's see where it is i'm going to apply and uh, let's go with minus 10 apply and right now it is exactly in the center correct then with this fillip you can make it upside down let me just show you what i mean something like this if you need any setback you can assign a number to this part and according to your need you can check or uncheck these two options too okay and okay now if we go to this 3d view we can see the wall exactly like this now if we change the height of this wall this uh, profile is going to be attached on top of it again let's just put it on the second level and it will always move with this wall the last tip in here that i'm going to share with you is for these corners so if you select your wall in this part you can see this modify returns if you click on it in this part you can click on this profile and it will give you something like this which you can use for corners now i just need to go to first level and create another wall in this part okay and then if we go back to this 3d view I am going to set it on exactly second level and they are perfectly attached together. And this was the parametric profile that we created together. If you want to download it, you can check the site. Thank you for watching until now. I really hope it was helpful for you and I will see you next time.